What is up, YouTube? So today on the bench, we have the uh, Tenergy TB6B charger. This is a great entry-level hobby-grade charger. It's been around for a couple years. It's tried and true. To, I guarantee if you go on Amazon, it's a bestseller. Um, I've actually owned two of these in the past, and I got another one. And it's just an all-around great charger. Can't really beat it for the price. 40 45 bucks, depending on where you get it. I guarantee if you order from China, you probably get it for $30. Um, but I'm, you know, instant gratification kind of guy. I like my stuff quick. <laughs> so, all right. The box really doesn't show much. So we're just going to kind of rip right into this one. Open it up. You got your little Tenergy, you know. If you're missing something, call us type deal. Got your instructions. Now, I haven't thumbed through this one, but I have in the past. And they are pretty decent when it comes to like uh, Chinese directions like the stuff spelled right and whatnot so just kind of give you an idea um, it'll do 0.1 to 5 amp on the charge it'll do up to 1 amp on the discharge now this is only a 50 watt charger um, you know nowadays there's 80 100 120 150 watt charger so this is kind of on the low end of the spectrum but again for the price point it's really good so I'm not going to flip through this if you guys do pick this charger up make sure you read the book it's very important um, this just kind of is a little, um, you know, keep safe type deal. Again, lithium polymer batteries can be extremely dangerous if not handled properly. Um, again, always practice safety first when it comes to batteries. They can be extremely dangerous. I'm sure you've watched other YouTube videos of people burning their house down with them. So, all right, on to the, uh, on to the meat and potatoes here. So this is the actual charger here. This is actually a metal charger, not some cheap plastic. It's got a nice big heat sink on the back. Buttons all have a nice clip to them. Just comes with standard banana plugs, so you don't have to use any proprietary charging plugs for it. Pretty much anything you pick up on Amazon and eBay will work. And then it's got up to a 6S balance port on it. That's where you plug your uh, AC to DC in. I think it also has like a little receiver pack charger and stuff on the other side. So, definitely a nice little, uh, nice little deal. Actually, you know what? No, that is to hook it up to your computer. This can be hooked up to the computer. I, I really don't remember how, but I do recall there's a USB plug that goes to this, and you can do some different stuff. All right, and here it is. Wall plug. So, uh, this is like a DC plug, so you can use a car battery or something if you're out in the field to run it. Got your balance board, and I really don't care too much for these multi-purpose ones, but again, for the price point, you really can't beat it. It's got the banana on one side and the other side. I think it's like an EC5. That's a like a receiver pack. I have no clue what that is. Uh, looks like we have another little like receiver pack type deal here. Uh, I guess this is to. This is like a make your own one. Here you go. So you can put, you know, solder some different leads on there, whatever. Uh, well, we got Tamaya and, oh, look at that, Deans. And I picked up some Deans. That stinks. But I, I would use these anyways. These are like some nice, big, heavy-duty ones. Anytime I buy a charger, I buy my own charging leads anyway. So, all right. So got those out of the way. And I think all this is is the... Power supply, just like a standard laptop style 110 to 240 power brick. So that's about it, gosh. With the energy charger, again, for the 40 50 bucks you pay for this thing, you really can't go wrong, especially if it's a great first charger. So, um, if you're looking to get your first charger, definitely check out the Tenergy again. This is the TB6B, great. So, all right, guys, like I said, got a lot more RC stuff coming up. Stay tuned. I mean. Just got the X Max. We got the new E Revo 2.0 coming. I'm trying to decide now whether I want to get a Fortec or maybe I'm thinking about doing a Rustler with like a 4S build. I don't know yet. Leave your comments down in the section below. Let me know what you want to see me get next. Hell, it doesn't even have to be a Traxxas smile. You name it, I'll think about it. So, all right, guys, you know what to do out there. Like, share, favorite, hit that subscribe button. Questions, comments, throw them in the section below. Be safe out there, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.